Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm News 8 Digital Anchor Luke Laster here from the Wood TV Live Desk. Happy Monday, folks. Today is February 21st, and there is some rain on the way. Ellen Bach is with us now. Ellen, rain? Yes? Yeah, yeah. A lot of it, too, it's looking like, right? Yes, and yeah. the thing is, when we have rain in the forecast, I think everybody leans into that melt even more so. Like, mm. it feels like spring is on the way. But, Luke, some spots are going to see freezing rain out of this. And then Wednesday, we drop back down to the 20s for several days for forecast eyes. Right. <laughs> Folks, as usual, you see those hashtags there below our names. Hey, Ellen, hey, Luke, go ahead and use those, and we'll get your questions or comments up there and put them on screen. Ellen, let's dive right in here to our graphics. We got those temperatures here out the gates. Isn't this wild? It is 50 in Allegan right now. It is only 37 in Grand Rapids. Wow. That's a huge, huge temperature change yeah. in just a small distance. We're talking less than 30 miles here. And you'll notice the further north you get, Big Rapids, Fremont, Mount Pleasant, we're closer to actual freezing. So this temperature divide is going to stay for us as we go overnight tonight and through the day on Tuesday. And that's why as we have rain come in, most locations will be warm and they'll just see normal rain. But spots like Fremont, Big Rapids, Mount Pleasant, basically north of I-96 and especially north of Highway 10, we have a chance of seeing some ice accumulation. That is such a stark difference right yeah. there. Yeah, and it's just holding too. Like sometimes yeah. we'll see a system and it like brings the temperature changes, but it tracks through. This is like stuck for the next couple of days. That's wild. Very yeah. cool. Well, moving on to those alerts now, Ellen. This is just a really great way to paint who needs to be extra aware tonight and tomorrow. Basically, a winter weather advisory for Nuevo County and Mount Calm County. This starts at midnight tonight. Excuse me, it starts at 7 p.m. tonight, and it goes through uh, Tuesday. And I believe that should be 12 a.m. That's an automated alert there, so I'm going to have to double-check that. But this is something that goes through midnight on Tuesday. Uh, and the reason being, that's when we're going to be seeing the ice accumulation starting tonight and then through the day on Tuesday. Again, you can see how far north it is, too. Muskegon, you're going to be pretty close to this line. You might see a little bit of glaze ice from time to time, but it shouldn't really stick. It's north of that into Oceana, Nuevo, Mount Calm, and especially even further to the north, you'll notice that the northern lower is in a slightly different color there, the light blue. That's a winter storm warning. They're expecting higher ice accumulations in addition to that sleet and maybe even some snow. It's a good question here from Seth, and we'll go ahead and pop this one up. Any more plowable snow this season? Yes, I think that we still have some plowable snow. I'm sorry. <laughs> some people might love that. Some people might hate that. But even Thursday night into Friday, we have a small system that's going to roll through. Looks like it's going to kick out one to two inches. That's usually enough to get the plows going. Um, and we do typically see around eight inches of snow in the month of March. So we're not out of the woods yet in terms of snow. Statistically, we're getting less and less likely Hopefully for the big accumulations. There. Yep. I mean, uh, not tomorrow Tuesday but a week from Tuesday is March 1st. Wow mm -hmm. you're cruising through the new year. Blazing. Huh? Yeah <laughs> well on to I like this graphic a lot here and take this one full. Seth thank you. Ellen what do we have here? I wanted to show this because again Muskegon County you are not under a winter weather advisory but ice accumulation is still going to be possible. It just doesn't look like it's going to be that much. And even though our temperature spread is going to, for the most part, stay pinned where it's at, at times on Tuesday, we're going to see the warm air migrate further to the north. That's a very good thing. That means if spots like Muskegon or Greenville or Big Rapids start to see some light icing accumulate, uh, once we get to Tuesday afternoon as the warm wedge continues to advance north, it could help to loosen that up and keep it from causing any big problems. Usually when we talk glaze ice, we talk about how heavy that makes the trees, the difficulty with power lines, power outage possibilities. But when we have the warm air advancing just a bit, it does help to eliminate those problems. So Muskegon, just because you're not in a winter weather advisory doesn't mean you're completely in the clear. You still have to watch for a little bit of glaze ice. And then moving on to our future cast as well here, Ellen. This is great because it shows the difference in heaviness of precipitation. Luke, this is midnight tonight. 
Look at all those colors. <laughs> Look at the colors. <laughs> and you can see it's mostly like light rain and then light freezing rain. The cold air wraps in for Big Rapids, Fremont, Greenville. Again, notice, Muskegon, you're right on that line. So we included you, especially on the east side of the county. But for the most part, starting at midnight tonight, we could begin to see some light accumulating ice. Most of us just plain old rain. You can see Grand Rapids, Hastings, Allegan, Battle Creek, Kalamazoo, just light rain. Okay, now flip to the next one, if you can, Luke. Yep. Boom. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> this is 8 a.m. Tuesday, so morning commute time frame. We could have downpours, thunderstorms, and then All where that over. freezing line is still, yes, and where that freezing line is still holding, unfortunately, you have a lot more water coming yeah. in, and so it just increases the chances of accumulating ice. And again, notice how warm Muskegon, Fremont, Greenville are at that point in time. It's just normal um, rain at that point, maybe a normal thunderstorm. It's when you cross over into that uh, icy wedge, so to speak, cold air wedge that you have to worry. But yeah, tomorrow, 8 a.m. through noon, like good chance that we could hear some rumbles of thunder. We could even hear a few tonight in nice. our southern southern viewing area. To those of you asking, you know, your specific areas, these two graphics really highlight that. Um, you know, I'll put that, that midnight one back up there for you folks, but yeah. Yeah. Alan, what do we have here, uh, you know, as we head into our five and six o'clock hours today? So we're going to break this down. We'll walk through the future cast slowly so that you can see all time frames through Tuesday because some will be impacted, especially if you're traveling north, not going to be a, a good story uh, up north of Highway 10, not great driving conditions. Um, we're going to talk about the thunderstorm potential. We're also going to show you the temp drop back into the 20s for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, potentially Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> and then we'll talk about uh, more snow on the way towards the end of the week for those of you that have to shovel or plow. Um, we'll also do the extended outlooks and look into the middle part of March, see if there are any hints of warming there. Very nice, very nice. Folks, there is a link attached to the stream. Take you over to woodtv.com. The weather tab have all your Storm Teammate news there. This has been a look at the Wood TV Live Desk. Ellen, thank you, as always. Thank you. I'm News 8 Digital Anchor Luke Laster. Folks, be safe out there and have a great afternoon.